Can you tell me what a school board member does? Well, what is a board member? They kind of help people do stuff and tell people where to go, go and stuff like that, I think. Does it, do they have a board? Do they write on it? They help write this stuff when the classrooms are, and then they go there. They write on the boards, and um, kids have to learn, <laughs> like, learn what they make on the board, and, like, problems and things like that. They just be helpful and care for other people. If I could tell the students that I serve one thing, I think it would be to take advantage of every opportunity you're given. Um, when our students enter school, the future's a long way off, and I think they don't realize what all they've got ahead of them. Listen to your teachers, listen to your administrators, listen to your coaches, listen to your lunchroom ladies, your bus drivers. Everybody that has an opportunity to offer any advice to you, take advantage of it. I would also tell them that uh, never bypass an opportunity to make yourself better. As individuals, we all bring ideas. We also bring solutions to the problems that face our students. The overall decision has got to be for the best of our students. Our job is to gather all the facts, uh, come up with the best solution for our students, and not only the students of today, but also the students we're going to serve for the future. What most people might not know about the Board of Education, I'll answer that two ways. Uh, number one, I, I've been surprised most people, I don't think, know that you're required to live in a certain area uh, to be on the board. It's my wife and I, as, uh, as we transition into uh, adult life later on, we're looking to maybe get on one level, but we're only looking in, in the area that, that we would serve on the district if, that's, if I decided to run again. The second thing I don't think people really know is, uh, is how much time we put into it and we do it because we love doing it. I can rattle off six things this week that I'm, that I'm doing in relation to things at night and those kinds of things. And, and we do it because uh, uh, we all made a commitment. I made a commitment when I decided to serve on the board that, that I would treat it like when I was a high school principal. And I would, I would try to be as, as, do as many things and, and the emails and the text messaging and the, and the calls at night. Uh, it's just a it's just an honor and a privilege to do it. 25 years ago, the National Association of Secondary School Principals did a survey and they looked at successful people in life and, and they looked at their high school years and, and what, uh, what made them successful and the only one common denominator they could come up with was their involvement in co-curricular activities. Stay involved in, in co-curricular activities. There's so many opportunities for you to be involved in things before and after school. And they are just as important to your success in life sometimes as those Algebra One classes or whatever they might be because uh, that helps you with team building and all the other things that are necessary to be successful in life. I'd love to have 150 members in both marching bands. I'd love to have football teams with 100 players out there. So that, that's the one thing that, that I would say. And lastly, I just want to say uh, it is truly an honor and privilege to serve on this board and serve with these people, and I'm very fortunate. You know, I think it's an honor for me to serve alongside our faculty and staff. That's what I would say if I had to come up with one. Um, it's been very rewarding just to know the things that we do and sometimes we make the hard decisions but it makes it easier because you know that faculty and staff that we're making it for they're going to take it and they're going to run with it and they turn out some of the best kids that we can have and that just helps our community and then it helps beyond our community and you know it's just a it's just continuing effort and so i just really i think it's an honor working alongside our faculty and staff and our leadership i think that i think community people don't realize what they have to give back and, and, and they don't have to have a special talent or a special hobby or they could they could just come and give it their time 
and you know get with a principal get with a someone you know on staff at in the district and we would love to put them to work somewhere and it doesn't have like i said they don't have to have any special qualifications but uh, i'd say to give give her their time uh, to, to help the faculty and the staff so that they can give more time to the kids second is is to encourage the kids that they see they don't have to be relatives but they can encourage the kids and any arts events, sports events, um, anything like that. They can be supportive of that. Go and attend. Go and, and show their support. How long have you served on the board? I've just completed 43 years. Wow, that's unbelievable. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a great privilege. I've, uh, I've enjoyed uh, immensely. The most rewarding part of serving as a board is basically uh, the success and the achievement that I see in our students. It, it's all about uh, it's all about the young folks of our community. Uh, you know, we, we change lives as far as if we do the kind of job that we need to be doing, that's the reason it's so important to have good folks involved. Uh, teachers change lives. Educators, I mean, it's it's a situation and that's and that's what it's all about. We can we can make a difference. Anything that we can do to assist that is uh, is just uh, a feather in our hat besides what it does for the community and for that person in particular. The, the most important thing that, that, uh, that can be done as far as uh, helping students and, and even helping the school system is to support their kids and start doing it at a very young age. It's, it's, it's much more difficult being, being a, a kid these days and, uh, and as they grow up that direction means so much to them besides the support. That, uh, that you can give them. So uh, even, as, even as far as the community is concerned, everything that we can do to support them. So for me as an individual board member, and I also believe for our whole board, uh, everything we do, every decision we make, every vote we cast, has to go back to our mission statement. We have to ask ourselves simply, the mission of Davis County Public Schools is to prepare students to succeed for life by meeting the individual needs of students, ensuring quality instruction, and developing a learning community. Here in Davis County, we have probably close to 2,000 employees. Most people may not know that the Board of Education and all boards of education in Kentucky hire only two people. One, the superintendent and the board attorney. Well, January is School Board Appreciation Month. That these five individuals uh, could not be more committed to the task uh, that's been assigned to them uh, and to make every decision based on what's best for our kids in our district. I see that, I experience that on a routine basis and we're so fortunate in Davis County to have five individuals that have such high quality integrity, ethics, uh, but bring that to the table when we're having that discussion regardless of topic. So you can be rest assured that we have the most outstanding people that we could ever have and it's my honor to work for them. They're my boss uh, and so my ambition is to please them uh, through the work that we do each and every day. To each one of you uh, and to all of you as a board, thank you and we appreciate the work that you put in uh, each and every day, each and every month. Uh, just reading my emails is a lot of work and I understand that, but thank you for uh, caring most of all about the children in Davis County. Your time is well spent. Thank you for your service. Can you tell us what a school board member does? Does it clean toilets? <laughs> <laughs>